you know one of the most frustrating things for people when they take a lesson, especially you know a noted instructor, they come to see you, they take a lesson, they've got knowledge, they totally understand. And they think, a lot of people that once they understand something, they think they should do it. And the reason why it's very hard to do reality is it's called a myelin. So what happens is people create, basically a myelin is like your brain telling what muscle to fire in what place. And pretty soon if you do it enough times, it's subconscious. So you're not consciously thinking about it. And I always use learning to drive a manual transmission. We go to the parking lot, we practice it, we dry shift, right? Got it. We go to the road, we're pretty good. Not a lot of pressure. We go to the light where there's a hill put the pressure, put the car right behind you, your subconscious goes, no freaking way am I trusting you, Adam, to do this. I'm going to do what I know how to do because I've done it so many times and I can work at light speed compared to your conscious under pressure. The driving range is like that. And so what happens though, even though intellectually someone takes a lesson from you, they understand exactly the positions you want them to do. But when you put them under pressure, you put them on the, the first part of pressure is there's no pressure to uh, a golf swing, right? A practice swing with no ball. I can go nice and slow, you can see, hit the positions, Got it. Put the ball down. Why do people always say, why can't I do it when the ball's there? It's because the subconscious overrides the conscious. But enough time. The subconscious overrides the conscious. The conscious. Absolutely. Especially it's, at that pace. So with enough time and practice, you know, people can, get, can change if they have the patience and they put the time in. And I even tell them sometimes, look at you can get better. Like you said, you, know, you used to practice in front of a mirror. It's like you can get better at home just doing drills, you know, where you're doing them nice and slow. And so I do this all the time. I tell people, look at, if I give you a lesson and you had 100 golf balls and I took a camera and I put it behind you for 100 shots and I videotaped you and we sat down, we looked at every single swing, we might see no progress. We might, even though in your mind you think you're doing it, you're doing nothing. But if we change the way you practice, we said, okay, you're not getting a large bucket, you get 30 balls. I still want you to make 100 swings. Mm. So for mm. every, every shot you're going to hit, I want you to make two methodical, slow practice. We'll videotape them, right? So you're really hitting the positions. And then you get to hit one shot. You get to earn that shot. Well, if we videotape that practice session, I guarantee you we have 70 good practice reps. He always told me, numbers game. Good column, bad column. Unfortunately, we're living in the bad column a lot of times, and the good's down here. Yeah. And he wanted to balance that. And he said, we hit, listen, whether it's a ball in front of you or not, if you have two proper practice swings, even if you totally, nice to slow. totally biffed on the swing, well, guess what? Two up, one down, we're still one up, you know? Yep. So that was kind of the so way. So gradually, yep. with enough repetitions, your subconscious yep. starts to get comfortable with that. And gradually you can take it to the range, then you can take it to the golf course, then you can take it to a tournament. But most people won't do the work and they expect, if they have the knowledge, they think that, I can do it. Well, they could if they didn't have Huge. the ingrained myelin. Huge what you just said right there because that's the one thing. It's, you know, perception versus reality is really something else with golf. And everybody yeah. who's watching this is shaking their head going, yeah, we know. Yeah. You know, you think you're doing this, you take a video and you go, whoa, what? Yeah. I mean, that's insane, right? Yeah. So, so here's the big thing about that. You know, one thing that we're big on here, and this is, you know, the same thing that Todd was huge with me. If I'm going to work at something, let's work it in a way that guarantees you're doing it right. So one thing that made sense to me is somebody who was really passionate about the game and wanting to get better and was a severe perfectionist too who wanted to right. really, really, yes, really get it. Yeah, so I would get in front of that mirror before seeing him again countless times. Dad had to put him up in my room. I even had that thing marked with tape in strategic spots where yeah. I would stand and stuff like that. And it was rep after rep after rep. Now, I would take those reps out here and Kevin and I just recently put together poor Zach Golf's top 10 drills. I should say poor Zach Sohn's top 10 drills. <laughs> picked, picked up, picked up more, get a more than half of them for you. Yeah, exactly. So, so here's the big thing. You know, we have ways of breaking it down to guarantee that you get it right. Say, let's just go basics here. Say you worked on the proper set position and simply turning the set, set position to the top with more connection. Well, right away, I come out here and I have my players guarantee they have the right set position, turn, and unwind. I have them do that a countless amount of times because I was able to guarantee I have the right spot. I will literally check it off to them. Yes or no, we're starting over. Yeah. And if they got yes, well go. now don't change the structure of your arms and just simply turn. And, go. and that was guaranteeing. Like I do that all the time. I call yep. it a two-stage drill. Yep. Like start your golf swing from here. And I found this out. Rhythm's the glue that holds the golf swing together. Okay, and when the rhythm is correct, there's a certain rhythm that everybody can make a change. 
I'm serious about that. There's a certain pace that everybody can make a change. I watch players out here continue on with their quick pace and they do what they've always done. And as Todd said, you know, your, your, your subconscious is gonna override your conscious, especially at the speed at which we're going in our golf swing. That's right. So what we'll do to guarantee that connection, to guarantee that right spot, is go at a pace that guarantees we hit all those spots. So Sung JM, right? Very slow backswing, going like this. All right? Okay, you take it to the golf course, and this, you know, proprioception, we talked about that. What's proprioception? Proprioception is a player, a person, can feel where they're at time and space, like Cirque du Soleil. That's guys, that woman, that guy, a ballet dancer, great proprioception. They know where their body is in time and space. So a lot of people haven't developed good proprioception. Mm -hmm. And so what happens, like there's coordination, I can coordinate, right? But there's also proprioception. Well, if a player has low level proprioception, which most amateurs do, <clears throat> it's great to have a pre-shot routine that's ex exaggerated. Like you take that guy who's doing this, right? And that's his normal pattern of his swing. Well, before every shot on the golf course, I'd be like, you know, I want, I want you to make this big freaking loop out, under, release, yep. and then hit the shot. So the last thing your brain just felt was this new pattern. And the more times you do it, pretty soon, you know, it doesn't have to be this big loop, but pretty soon it's a tiny figure eight, right? Absolutely. But you, you really, you gotta override, if you've got someone that's really got an ingrained pattern, you gotta override the old pattern and do it enough times where you can create the new pattern so your subconscious starts to trust it. Todd and I take a lot of pride in watching our students get better. A lot of pride on it. You know, we're both severe perfectionists and we take it personal when our players don't get better. Yeah. And one thing I remember about Todd that I just, loved. Man, he lets you have it if you didn't put the time in and work at it. He goes, well, hey, listen, I, you showed up, I did my job, okay? I need you to do yours. Yeah. So, you know, anybody who has found through our videos that there's things that they're missing in their swing that they need to work on. Well, hey, if you get a chance, here in the Chicagoland area, you're on the East Coast, get over to see Todd Soans. You're over here on the West Coast, get over here to see me. The thing about it is, understand that we're gonna do everything we can to give you the information you need. We're going to, even when you're with us in front of us, get you working on it in a way that gets it done. But you need to do take a step work. back and do your work and do it the right way. Yeah, you know, every, ownership. Everybody has their formula. And what I, what I like to do is I identify go-to drills for players. You know, like for Owen today, he reacted really well to this ball forward drill. Yeah. Like immediately. Like I loved his move through impact. It was zero backup. It alleviates all his back pain. He's right here. So that's something that I'd be hanging my hat on for the next couple yeah. months with him. It wouldn't yeah. change it. Yeah. Um, but that's something you know you can get when you come see Todd and I. And when you leave any instructor's lessons, that's what we hope for you. We hope that not only do you have an understanding of what happens, but you understand how, how you need to work on it and how you have to practice it to get it done. Yeah. And I, I like to balance my practice as well. One thing I'll mention with my players is we want to practice as intensely as we play so that we can play as casually as we practice. I love that. That's a great saying. Hey, bud. Always the best. Fun, Always. Let's go play some golf. Let's do it. All right. Kev, thank you. Thanks, Kev. At Forzac Golf, we take a lot of pride in having developed some of the best and most consistent golf swings on the planet. We do this through simplicity. Our Full Swing Masterclass will take you on a step-by-step, easy-to-understand process on how to get your golf swing better than ever. Join the many before you who've utilized our Full Swing Masterclass to take their games to the next level and beyond.